What's going on, guys? It's Deathmore Kate. Today, I'm going to be talking about some rather interesting information concerning Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, for those who are fans of Marvel, may be aware that there's actually a new film coming out next month called Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, Deadpool and Wolverine, we have seen before in Fortnite. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine have been characters in that game. Um, there are rumors to suggest that Wolverine is actually coming back. To Fortnite through one of the bunkers that's on the current chapter 5 map on that game so that's really interesting now but this video is mainly focused on modern warfare 3 so as you guys can see um, if I just scroll down here guys the release date for this movie is 25th of July 2024 so this uh, going from uh, all calculations just it's going to be happening in the season 5 time frame for modern warfare 3 now, apparently, uh, somebody who goes by the name of Crash FTY on Twitter X has actually managed to find some rather interesting uh, in-game files, which actually promote um, some animations uh, concerning Deadpool and Wolverine. So, I'm just going to let you take a look at these rather interesting um, animations here, guys. And these are finishing moves. Uh, we don't know the full-on uh, name for these, but these uh, specifically relate to Deadpool. So as you guys can see, he's doing a backward roll, and basically taps the uh, guy on the shoulder. He thinks it's behind it, but let alone, bam. I think this one's called Tap, if I'm not mistaken. So he taps his shoulder, then does backward roll. See, it doesn't seem in his blind spot, and bam, dead. So that's really interesting there, guys. Uh, I think we've got another animation here from another set or similar animation. So, as you guys can see, he taps his shoulder, doesn't know he's behind him, and bam, shoots in the head. So, very, very interesting there, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of that in the comments box down below. Now, you will notice he's doing this with his finger, essentially, but um, obviously, uh, the guns have been taken out for this uh, for these animations here, guys. But uh, obviously, he'll be doing this with his uh, gun, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's really interesting, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of that in the comments box down below. And this the animation again from a different angle called tap. Taps his shoulder and bam. But does a backward roll behind his back and bam. That's pretty cool guys. Let me know what you guys' views and thoughts are of that in the comments. Uh, apparently there's also another finisher, which called this apparently is called the soccer finisher. Now I'm just gonna show you guys this rather interesting uh, piece of footage. So as you guys can see, I don't know why that uh, guy, that character's model is head missing, but um, as you guys can see, kicks him in the back of the uh, knee and oh yeah, is it the back of the knee? Yeah, back of the knee. Or hits him on the knee, in fact. Then basically kicks him away. So obviously you'll notice if you fans of football or soccer, if you're from the US, doing like a maybe like a corner kick or a free kick, or doing like a volley type animation. That's really interesting there, guys, to say the least. Let me know what you guys uh, views and thoughts are of that in the comments box down below. Now, if you guys think back all the way back to Modern Warfare 2, uh, we actually had some rather interesting uh, collaborations involving Neymar, Lionel Messi, and Paul Pogba. Now, there is rumours to suggest, according to forward leaks, uh, another Call of Duty X football or soccer collab is happening soon in Modern Warfare 3. So, could we potentially see the silver turn maybe of Neymar, Paul Pogba and Lionel Messi? Or could we be seeing like other well-known soccer players? Uh, personally, if it was up to me, I would definitely like to see maybe Erling Haaland or potentially maybe Kevin De Bruyne or Harry Kane. Um, if I think if I'm not mistaken, I'm thinking back to the original version of Verdansk. And on the stadium, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, there was some well-known uh, football players or soccer players um, on one of the on a few of the banners, if not mistaken. I'm trying to try and remember if I recognised any of those. And of course, as you guys can currently see on screen, Paul Pogba actually um, did join the Dansk FC, as it was called, uh, back in the days of the original Modern Warfare. So, very, very interesting there, guys. Keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions of this in the comments box down below. Now, apparently, again, to come to forward leaks, apparently there's going to be a Pringles skin coming to Modern Warfare 3. Um, and apparently this information here comes from a Mexican website, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this piece of text, when translated, reads, 15 double XP incentives per day. Daily double XP incentives limited to 7,500. 
Once again throughout the duration of the promotion, Delhi Incentives skins limited to 830, one incentive per participant for the entire promotion. So this could potentially be a Mexico exclusive, so if any people from Mexico could uh, hook us up with some codes, I would probably appreciate that. I'll just see if I can load up the uh, where this information came from. Um, get rid of these cookies. I don't know why I was, every website got on promotes cookies, but as you guys can see, Pringles are indeed collaborating with uh, Warzone themselves, according to PringlesGamer.com. So this is the... Uh, Mexican website, as you guys are seeing on screen. Um, now, I obviously don't understand a word of Mexican or Mexican Spanish. So, um, if you want, if you guys, if you guys are very familiar with that language, uh, I thoroughly appreciate that in the comments box down below. So, as you guys can see, there's various different like uh, gear that we that you can purchase for this. Very, very interesting. Um, double X looks like double XP instantaneous double XP there. You've got all sorts of rather interesting things there. Let me know what you guys views and opinions of this in the comments box down below. Um, can you hear what you guys views and opinions of that? Now apparently the new Get Higher mode, which is going to be uh, coming out if not mistaken within the next few days. Going for my calculations here guys, if I'm not mistaken I've been told it just actually is the third of July at uh, 5, 6, 7 p.m. time frame in BST, which if I'm not mistaken, I think it's going to be around the 1, 2 p.m. Uh, midday, even in Eastern, and between 9 and 10 on the Pacific in the morning. So, very, very interesting there, guys. Can you hear what you guys have opinions of this in the comments box down below? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think we've got some interesting gameplay as you guys are currently seeing of the camo that we can actually earn from completing the Get Higher LTM. So that's really interesting there guys, let me know what you guys views and opinions of this comments box down below. Um, so I've run it back home to the very top fast and everyone else, how high can you get? Uh, it's going to be a 15 minute match timer, 16 players maximum participating on a large map. So that's just the description I've just managed to get from the actual in-game. There is a playlist to confirm that this is actually incoming on the 3rd of July, so let me know what you guys' views and thoughts are. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so it's an upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.